Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is tutorial series number 17 here in Marligan's Code. We will continue guys with our um, installation of our MySQL. And then uh, right now in our previous discussion, we have done the MySQL server and then it's successfully run in our Ubuntu web server. And then right now we need to do this, um, we need to install this PHP MyAdmin guys. So this PHP MyAdmin is a uh, very useful for us as uh, we can access our uh, MySQL database over the browser so we don't need to install um, necessary um, like those um, in, uh, necessary MySQL tools or like this uh, MySQL administrator or workbench, uh, workbench all these things so we will uh, uh, install this so that it's convenient for us to access our uh, MySQL database so that we can uh, uh, play around and then uh, we can have a look on this uh, uh, MySQL fully manageable by this uh, PHP MyAdmin. Okay guys, so let's dive into this tutorial. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, uh, we will continue guys. Um, this is the PHP MyAdmin that I'm talking about. We are about to install on this uh, in this tutorial series guys. So uh, this is the official PHP MyAdmin.net uh, download so we can uh, down fully download our um, uh, all this uh, this one is a PHP admin guys so the so far the current version or the latest version as of this recording is a download for this uh, 5.0.4 uh, okay so all the all the other um, previous uh, installation are here as well guys so you can just uh, if you want to download the old, older version, but uh, there's no point, guys. Okay, there's no point. <laughs> there's no point to install those uh, unless you have some very specific uh, PHP admin with the corresponding uh, MySQL version. But this one, uh, the latest always uh, um, correspond with the latest, uh, of course, the MySQL version. So uh, this is our thing. You can try their demo as well. So we need to download this. Uh, this is the latest uh, uh, for their demo, guys. Okay? So we can just play around as well. Uh, then the latest is uh, here. So there is a download if you want. If you can download in your, uh, but no point also, guys. This one no need. Uh, okay, so I just press it automatically. <laughs> okay, so you can donate as well if you want, guys. Okay, so to help them also. Okay, so. This is the thing, but uh, right now we need to install from our, uh, again, we need to go back to our uh, Linode here. And then I uh, already launch our thing. And then uh, I think I need to create a new uh, uh, notepad here. Uh, we need to use the uh, we get guys, the w get uh, for this uh, latest uh, PHP my admin you just change with the latest version here guys so when you scroll over to their site uh, 5.04 5.0.4 so here we need to uh, change this with the corresponding version guys so but the syntax all are the same but the only thing is uh, we need to you see the official site here but uh, you need to change with the latest version there is so you just change this uh, version here and then another one also here so we need to copy this and then uh, execute from our uh, uh, root again you need to have a um, root access to your uh, uh, server guys so for us to install okay i pasted over here to our uh, to our uh, console then press enter okay so right now it's already uh, downloaded guys all the zip file uh, I think when we go to our server, maybe it's there. Just when I refresh, maybe it will take time or in the temporary day. So, okay, it's there already, guys. So, it's probably take time, but we don't know where is the thing. But later, we can just remove that over. Okay, so it's already downloaded from our uh, web server. Uh, the next step we need to extract this one this file guys so after this we need to uh, use this command guys to unzip uh, unzip php my admin of course the version you need to change as well uh, in the future uh, version of this uh, php my admin and then you press enter so it will be extract all those uh, zip file guys so just 
standby for a while um, it's very quick so already extracted guys i need to clear for a while hold on okay so we need to after this we need to extract this uh this uh, command guys uh, this one is the unzip here we're done ready then we need to move this although there is a shortcut for this uh, php my admin guys but uh, some are um, not the latest version so if you want to be uh, to specify the current version or uh, whatever the specific version you can always uh, do these steps so to specify uh, manually guys so otherwise you can use those um, this uh, sudo app get uh, something like the php my admin guys to install uh, from the repository there but uh, again it's not uh, always uh, the recent one but we need to uh, get the latest version of this uh, php my admin so we will that's why we have done this uh, manually guys so i already this script i already pasted guys the the standard um location for this php my admin is always in the user share and then a php my admin here so i just press enter okay so i already moved there guys okay so uh, okay uh, this would be the next step guys we need to make a directory okay since uh, we are doing all these things guys uh, manually so we will uh, uh, do this uh, php my admin and then uh, temporary files so we need to create the uh, temporary files for uh, this uh, php my admin there so cannot create okay uh, hold on guys so there is some typo guys so we just uh, create again uh, this one okay now should be okay when there is no error any guys so we can uh, proceed and then we can uh, do some uh, proper uh, permission for this uh, temporary fol folder inside this uh, php my admin okay we need to do the chone here and then uh, uh not else need to waste the command is r and then uh, ww dot uh, ww data and then um ww hold on for a while guys user uh user then share and then uh, php my admin okay so we need to allow this okay no error ch uh, mode with the proper permission for this folder guys so triple seven for the read write all these things here so we will do this share and then uh, php my admin then the temp folder that we have just created okay just press enter and then after this we need to uh, i think we need to create a new one hold on guys we need to create a symbolic link now Okay guys so we need to uh, do this i uh, just type on my notepad here guys because uh, normally my web leash here will be cut so we, it's very difficult for us to type in so um, i already create a supply all this uh, information guys so uh, this is the thing so this is the source we need to create now the symbolic link uh, it will be thrown to this uh, directory guys remember that in our bar www.html.marlikansco.com uh, public html so in this folder uh, right now we are here so uh, hold on guys uh, and under the bar then ww html and then the harlequin's code uh, you can also try to put under this uh, html only guys but uh, uh, for me i will recommend to always throw in the public html here so under this uh, domain because we need to access this uh, domain although if you have multiple domains in your uh, web server guys um, you can always uh, do that uh, you can always put uh, outside of this uh, bar but uh, for me i will just uh, follow here for some uh, proper uh, identification guys because that means uh, whenever, whenever there is a new domain that you have then uh, uh, only the php my admin uh, you installed on i mean you can allow to access uh, with your uh, primary domain so although your uh, my php my admin mysql uh, oh, multiple databases are hosted there but you can always uh, allow to uh, this uh, uh, for in this case if you have multiple domains uh, you can uh, always host the php my admin to your uh, 
uh, primary domain so that um, your no multiple uh, PHP my admin uh, will be located in uh, various uh, domains because it's it might be uh, difficult for you to manage in, in the future so uh, this is uh, my own uh, recommendation guys so and uh, opinion so it's up to you guys but I really like to do what is my primary domain then I will just host the PHP my admin there and configure one time uh the the future one because you can uh, share all those databases you can access once you have this uh php my admin so okay guys so we'll just store the symbolic link to this uh, public html here and then we'll be create this one guys so uh probably this is the thing so we'll just uh, copy here and then uh we'll just execute oh no <laughs> my thing again gone hold on guys so I need to relaunch some certain time need to um, uh, hold on guys I need to execute this thing okay so I just uh, uh, copy here and then uh, execute enter so we will uh, check this thing it should be added here now okay so the PHP my admin is uh, this symbolic link when you double click it will be hosted to it will be point to user then share and then a php my admin guys so uh this is the home uh, directory for for this uh, php my admin so right now we have the symbolic link as you can see that there is a small up arrow there that is a symbolic link okay for those who do not know do not know yet <laughs> so this is just a shortcut guys if you are in the windows there you just uh, just a short <laughs> shortcut <laughs> okay uh, we will continue and then uh, after this we have already uh, created the symbolic link um, right now uh, I need to clear something guys uh, we're about to install this uh, uh, what do you call this PHP 7.4 guys the latest version for this uh, PHP because we need this uh, what do you call this uh, FMT sock socket something like that guys because uh, the MySQL is uh, always bundled with the, of course the php uh, programming language there so we always uh, install this in our uh, web server so first thing first we need to again update our server guys uh, just to ensure me okay reading packages okay so just clear again need to install this one is a uh, quite long guys hold on for a while okay guys so this is the very quite long <laughs> okay but this one i will uh, definitely i will uh, put everything in the in our uh, video description guys for this uh, tutorial series here because we it's impossible for us to memorize unless you're very genius <laughs> okay so we'll uh, continue on i just copy this so do up install php php CLI, all these uh, necessary things guys uh, all these uh, mb string curl and then the pearl the pearl and then the bc mat all this uh, necessary one to run this uh php my admin guys so we need to install all these things in a uh, one uh, line one long line okay i just uh, copy and then uh, paste it over here normally it will be cut again sorry for that then uh, we will continue uh, just click yes now installing all those uh, necessary uh, modules and um, necessary packages for that uh, uh, PHP guys so uh, just hang in for a while we'll take our juice first <laughs> juice, not coffee uh, okay just continue on hold on for a while guys maybe it's just a quick, quick one But sometimes we cannot uh, drink too much coffee, guys, you know. Uh, there's a lot of uh, issues there. Uh, you will have some uh, health issues like a heart heartbeat too too fast or something. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, uh, just ignore for a while this um, error here. Okay, so after this, we need to clear. We will check our uh, latest uh, version for this uh, PHP. 
let's see so right now we have some php 7.4 and then all these things here so we have the latest uh, as of this recording so right now we need to clear again and then create a, we need to create a new location for our uh, uh, engine x guys so we have our engine x here in our previous one so uh, for our maharlikens.com so in our default here we never enable this so these are all uh, pre-generated by the engine x uh, during the installation guys so uh, we we'll just enable on this uh, mahalikansco.com or whatever your domain name there uh, we will be enabling this okay so uh, and then after that we will uh, configure some of the we need to create the new location of uh, uh, this php my admin when we access so right now we need to enable back this one guys so hold on this one because by default this one is disabled this one we don't need this guys so we need to disable this we only need this uh, fast cgi underscore pass unix this is our uh, way of communicating the other one is for the tcp guys tcp socket don't enable both guys because uh, you will be in deep trouble okay <laughs> just kidding uh, anyway uh, this one don't enable this one guys only one uh, channel that you can uh, communicate with um, which is the Marlikens. <laughs> okay, um, don't be so serious, guys. Okay, um, uh, you need to enable this uh, fast CGI underscore pass only. Uh, don't enable this uh, using this TCP, but it's up to you. But I uh, highly recommend, and most of the recommendations out there, uh, just use this uh, fast uh, Unix communication, guys. Don't use uh, this uh, TCP um, because even, uh, okay. We always use this uh, f fpm dot socket so that suck okay so just enable back and then uh, don't forget guys one more thing don't forget uh, to add uh, when you add index dot uh, php here because uh, this php my admin mysql they are all using this dot uh, php uh, uh, programming language uh, scripting here so and uh, just add this uh, php my admin also from our uh, uh what they call this um, from the root there we just uh, better just add also guys okay just, just one time configuration only okay so we added this index dot php otherwise you cannot access the php my admin guys because they are all using that uh, php file extension okay so now we are enabling this uh, fast cgi server here from our um, nginx under the maharlikanscode.com uh, domain okay so we enable the socket here and then one more thing we need to enable i need just to copy this one again hold on for a while uh, i need to uh, create a new link here php my admin okay so later when you have like uh, maharlikans.com slash uh, php my admin um, i don't want to create the subdomain for this okay uh, but it's up to you guys if you want to create a uh, subdomain for php admin dot uh, .com or whatever your domain then you can do that uh right now for our uh, but i like to do this because um uh, no need for us to regenerate all those uh, uh certificates or all these things guys okay so right now uh, i need to locate our uh, location here for the php my admin so it should be here under this uh, directory so it should be the static okay hold on guys okay so under here under this uh, thing and then we will type in the php my admin okay because the symbolic link is here so uh, in our nginx configuration uh, although when you click this it will be just redirected to the the real uh, path there guys but this one uh is uh in the engine x side it will be treated as uh part of this uh, directory under this uh, public um, public html okay but although it's uh, just a shortcut guys but here you need to specify as well like this alias the normal link that you need to specify guys uh, I just added this uh, PHP my admin here 
and then um, what do you call this and then the, the symbolic link there so we already uh, configured our nginx we will try to upload this back to our uh, web server and then we need to look for nginx okay so the nginx is here we need to go with the sites available okay so uh, i need this uh, marlikan's code here and then uh, hold on guys uh, okay web development and then uh, nginx okay so this is my nginx i need to upload this both guys because i modify the these two files here okay we just uh, replace it and then uh, we need to reload our uh, nginx okay uh, we need to reload that hold on guys uh, sudo nginx then uh, reload okay no error good and then uh, okay so probably we can now access we need to run our uh, web server guys okay we need to run run main.go okay so now our web server is running we need to access this uh, marlicans.com slash if you open this uh, without the slash there it will be 404 because our uh, configuration there the ending the end uh, part should be like this guys so we will just take a look okay good now our php my admin is uh, totally uh, uh, accessible to our public uh, domain guys under the marlicanscode.com slash the php my admin so we can uh, close the other one this is for our uh, installation here okay so we will try to access guys and we'll try to play around with this okay so try the wrong password okay it's wrong okay so we will try the root uh, root here and just uh, take a look first and then uh, okay <laughs> i think you never uh, I need to set something guys uh, hold on for a while okay guys so we will continue on uh, right now guys uh, we have something uh, some error because of uh, this thing right uh, from uh, hold on uh, this one okay guys uh, this one as we have checked guys uh, this one is the apache itself is something uh, we need to change the port number guys because right now we have the two web server here uh, one is the apache 2 and then the other one our default one is the nginx so right now when we uh, when we check uh, they are both using uh, what they call the port 80 here so when we check our uh, apache 2 under the atc okay then uh, i have the downloaded all these things the apache 2 also so i already downloaded for us here to check all the things here this is for the apache 2 which is the the classic one uh, the classic uh, uh, web server guys uh, uh, prior to this uh, nginx so right now the uh, the apache 2 i already downloaded and then um, this apache 2 uh, which is this uh, settings here uh then look for the ports that config under the apache 2 the root directory of this apache 2 uh as you can see that the listen there is the port 80 we need to change this one guys to something like uh, 8079 uh for example and then uh, because uh, we cannot use uh both for uh engine the the listen port 80 for engine x as i have uh, uh we configured here uh, as you see that uh, I think in our default one okay here so in our default we listen to the port 80 uh, for our engine X we cannot use two or both uh, port 80 to a different uh, uh, server or any services there guys so it should be a unique one uh, right now this is our uh, default one so we don't touch the engine X side okay guys so because we are our default web server is uh, nginx uh, web server so what we can do is we need to change the port number for this uh, uh, apache 2 to listen to 8079 instead of the port 80 okay because this is our um, uh, 
uh, one of the service only for our MySQL okay guys so it's not the port 80 that we are serving you cannot serve here um, the uh, what they call this uh, static HTML using this Apache 2 so we are going to use only the Apache 2 for uh, certain uh, 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 server which is the MySQL server and then of course our uh, the PHP my admin so we change this and then we'll re-upload back to the ports there so I change back and then uh, etc Apache 2 re-upload this ports that config okay and then what we can do is we need to restart this uh, uh, what do you call this Apache 2 guys so sudo uh, what do you call system ctl or other uh, system ctl and then uh, no we need to start first because this one is never started guys that's why that's why uh, when we log in we never validate those uh, PHP my admin so uh, that's why we uh, received some error guys so we need to try to start this Apache 2 first start Apache 2 okay let's see now it's okay so okay so we need to check the status of this uh, Apache 2 as well guys okay guys we need to check this uh, sudo system ctl uh, status for this Apache 2 guys so we need to check if it is running or not so it's good and now it's uh, actu actually it's running now uh, in our previous uh, uh, as we have just started in this uh, uh, tutorial guys uh, as you've noticed that we have some uh, errors there because it's already conflict with this uh, listen 80 so the port 80 is actually used by our nginx web server so uh, that's why we have to change the default uh, uh, port number uh, port number for this uh, apache 2 because this is also a web server so we need to change it uh, okay guys so now we have successfully changed and then um, both now are running but uh, our front end and everything is our primary is the nginx and then our apache 2 is for our uh, mysql and of course our uh, php uh, my admin okay guys so we just press ctrl c press enter okay so now it's totally running one so we need to run our web server our engine our normal one the golang web server go run main that go we will try to test now if let's see if we can uh, log into our php my admin guys oh i just want to refresh one more time okay uh try to access the root first okay let's see if we can log in <laughs> okay guys um uh, right now we need to uh, execute this uh, command guys uh, to ensure that our root access uh, totally can access our uh, uh, PHP my admin there and then uh, of course uh, with this um, MySQL native password we, although we have done that but I just want to re re reassure and uh, ensure that uh, uh, this uh, root uh, is actually can access our PHP my admin guys so our root can only access to the MySQL server there uh, at the beginning in our previous discussion so right now I, we need to uh, ensure as well guys that uh, we need to have this uh, kind this um, kind of uh, commands that we need to execute these three commands guys okay so the first thing is you need to alter if uh, the user is still there uh, okay if the, the root user is uh, able to uh, is it uh, is present in our uh, mysql uh, users and then uh, we need to execute this standard way uh, same thing with our uh, php my admin earlier guys so we need to ensure as well that our root can actually access all have this grant thing okay the create alter drop insert delete update all these things here so also another thing is the grant all privileges uh for all the databases there for this uh, root at localhost username uh with the grant option so this one i already executed this uh, uh three guys uh just now to catch it our time uh what we can do is we try to uh, run our uh, web server now uh let's see if, let's see if we can, hopefully again <laughs> sure it will be running guys okay go run uh, main that go let's see what will happen okay our web server is running now uh, try to refresh the page okay the this is for the php my admin we'll try uh, the root here the moment of truth 
Ok. Oh, nice. Ok. Very nice. So, now we can log in with the root access, guys. Ok, so... Uh, right now, these are all the default uh, database here. So, what we can do... So, there is some uh, notification here, some notes. So, so, I mean our web server now. We'll just take a look first. Localhost via Unix socket. So, we are connecting using this uh, localhost via Unix socket. So, we're not using uh, the HTTP, I mean the TCP IP uh, protocol. But we are using this uh, Unix socket, guys. So, directly from the OS level. So, it's a good thing. And um, it's more uh, faster as well. Okay, so uh, MySQL, then then SSL is not being used. Okay, maybe later. Um, okay, so the protocol 10, and then the web server, Nginx. And then uh, what else uh, important here? Okay, these are the client servers. And then the MySQL, PHP version, all these things, guys. So we have this uh, protocol 10 so this is our server version uh, 8 now guys is uh, is the latest as of this recording uh, for our uh, mysql server and uh, of course in uh, with our uh, nginx uh, uh, web server here so now totally uh, in place guys uh, there are some information here you need to take a look first uh, PHP and configure story is not completely configured. Some extended features have been deactivated. Find out why. Okay, so we need to take a look, guys. So configuration of uh, this one general. Okay, disable. So uh, this is a uh, recommended, guys. You need to click this create a database name PHP my admin for the PHP my admin, guys. For for all the logs and the storage or uh, any activities for this database, guys. So, okay, you need to click this create. Uh, let's see. Okay, it will be created a new uh, PHP MyAdmin database here. So this is uh, these are all the database guys. So the default, the uh, don't touch here guys. So now it's all in ODB uh, by default. So these are all the things they created one. They created a new database by just a simple click there. Uh, this configuration now needs a secret pass pass phrase for the blue fish secret. Okay, uh, maybe later we will uh, take a look on this guys. So okay so uh, roughly we have uh, done this and now uh, we can uh, actually uh, just run again so in our marlikens code we can uh, access as you as you can see we can you can also test guys in our uh, um, in our uh, web server there actually you can act, uh, test from your side you can actually cite the mar marlikensco.com slash php my admin okay uh, in our next step guys probably we'll uh, um most probably and uh, and uh, likely we can <laughs> of course we need to secure our uh, php my admin guys this is another uh, front end layer of the first layer of uh, protection guys from our nginx web server so uh probably in our uh, uh, in our next video so stay tuned for that guys we need to harden our uh, php my admin now because now it's uh, totally totally publicly accessible Okay, but we don't have the database yet. We can create uh, later on. Okay, these are all the default databases here for the latest uh, MySQL uh, Server 8. Okay, guys, but uh, with the PHP MyAdmin that we configured uh, properly as well. So we need to check, all, uh, we need to harden this one, part, this, uh, this thing. So, okay. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, tutorial series here in Marlikens Code. Okay, so we have uh, successfully uh, set up our uh, PHP MyAdmin and then uh, now we can uh, totally access our uh, database. You can try also guys in your um, in your browser there you can access the marlikens, marlikensco.com slash uh, PHP MyAdmin. Uh, don't forget the, the slash at the end. So okay, so we will uh, harden this uh, probably when uh, you access the web server. We already hardened the thing. There is a first layer of protection from the Nginx uh, HD access or something that will be prompting something like a password there. And then after that, uh, you can, uh, after that, the this uh, PHP my admin will be showing up as as the second password uh, connect connection, guys. So, 
Um, the first thing is for our uh, Nginx. This is our main protection, uh, first layer protection. There. And then the second one is for, of course, um, when they access it, so you can uh, log in with the PHP my admin. Of course, uh, guaranteed if you have a username and the password as well. So there are two things uh, we need to. Uh, there's a one th one more thing we need to secure for our uh, PHP my admin. So stay tuned for that, guys. In our next uh, video, uh, if you don't have, uh, if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel so that you can have more videos like this. It's a free free uh, knowledge, guys from uh, other because uh, others uh, they are paying you need to pay uh, how many bucks <laughs> just to to be a member there but in here in marlikens code uh, yeah, i'm not receiving anything <laughs> so okay just uh, give uh, give it freely to you to you to all of you guys there uh, just started learning or learning uh, um, programming language uh, like this uh, golang and of course our uh, web server configurations so that you can uh, start uh, doing this as your uh, new career <laughs> or uh, i'm not so sure okay so it's up to you guys uh, thank you so much for watching uh, may god bless us all thank you and uh, bye bye